Hi, my name is Abigail Hirsch. I was born in Hungary. Um, I you know, was born in a period right after the war. Um, my father uh, was an amazing character. Prior to the war, he had been very easy-go-lucky. He was a socialist. He was a great dancer and totally anti-religion. Um, he was in a slave labor camp and everyone in his group was killed by a bomb. He walked back to Hungary and married my mother on Christmas Eve, December 25th, 1943, in the Rambach Synagogue. They were offering free weddings to anyone who would marry. Um, my, my mother, who had been working as a hairdresser prior to the war, continued to work as a hairdresser during the war. One of her customers gave her her personal identity papers and fortunately she never had to use them. But I guess it gave her a certain confidence. Um, while the Russians were, while, while Budapest was under siege and nothing was getting in or out, my parents, pulling a sled, managed to leave Budapest and get to Debrecen, which was already, which had already been settled by the Russians. And my dad took over his father's home there. And that's where I was born on Passover 1946, one of the first babies, one of the first Jewish babies born after the war. And everyone came just to stare a baby, wow, this was true excitement. They put together two sofas and that was the crib. About three years later, my dad was arrested for commercial activity, which was forbidden under communist rule. He was arrested and severely beaten, so they decided to take advantage of the Underground Railroad, known as the Brecha which was organized to help Jews escape communist countries. We managed to leave again on Passover night, which also happened to be Easter, and my mother carrying my sister and myself walking and holding onto her skirt. We walked through the night, crossing the border, into Czechoslovakia to a safe house, which was actually a barn. And from there, we were shepherded to Austria by bus and train and um, arrived at the Rothschild Hospital in Vienna, where we spent the next two years. I attended kindergarten, and sadly, my sister contracted polio. And um, our first application for immigration to the U.S. was rejected because of her polio. Then we applied to Canada, and an astute social worker suggested to my mother that she not say anything about the polio. So she held my sister in her arms and didn't say anything, and we were accepted. And we arrived here by a freighter called the Anna Salen. And recently, I met a young man my age who was on the same boat as I was. Um, my sister and I attended Protestant, Hebrew, Protestant schools here in Montreal. We both graduated from Utrema High School. And um, I attended two years at McGill. Um, I was very, very dissatisfied with um, my appreciation of McGill and my circumstances and my social situation and I begged my parents to transfer to another university. I desperately wanted to leave Montreal and um, I managed to transfer to Hebrew University in Israel, Jerusalem. I uh, spent the next five years there studying um, Jewish history and English literature, and um, learning 
more about myself and my life and the world that I had been born into. After I graduated, I came back to Montreal and spent a year in Boston and then applied to social work school in New York City. I loved New York City for its multicultural diversity. I felt at home there immediately. And I um, loved social work. I worked as a social worker in a rehab hospital, in addiction, in a mental health clinic, and also in immigration and with the elderly for the Swiss Benevolent Society. And um, I married and divorced and moved back to Montreal. It was about 10 years ago when I did move back to Montreal that my sister suggested that we go back to Hungary with my mother. At that point, I realized I had to have a video camera, so I went out and bought my first video camera. Since then, I've been living in Montreal and participating in the many cultural, educational, and grassroots organizations here, and taking my camera and videotaping, educating myself in journalism and media, and um, finding my voice and my mission, which is to expose the challenges that face us as citizens, as Jews, and um, as individuals. I invite you to join me on that journey. And thank you for watching this and sharing this with me.